Hi, I'm Rob Breckenridge, Edge Service BD Lead, and I'd like to introduce you to Amazon S3 Transfer Acceleration. S3 Transfer Acceleration, or S3TA, allows users to accelerate data or content uploads from all over the world to a centralized S3 bucket. S3TA accelerates transfers by automatically routing data to the closest AWS Edge location, by passing that data over AWS Global Backbone, and by using network protocol optimizations. If you're not familiar with AWS Edge locations, we have hundreds of points of presence, or POPs, around the world that contain AWS infrastructure to power Edge services like Amazon CloudFront, a content delivery network. By using our Edge locations and Global Backbone, S3TA lets your data bypass much of the public internet and avoid issues with internet weather and ISP bandwidth constraints. Depending on how far the application is from your S3 bucket, customers typically see performance gains in the range of 50 to 500%. This service is particularly useful if you or your application end users have to transfer data into Amazon S3 between countries or continents, have a fast local internet connection, and have large objects to upload. Let's talk about common use cases for S3TA. Customers with web or mobile applications that have an international user base take advantage of S3TA to speed up content uploads or downloads. We frequently see S3TA used for apps that have a lot of user-generated content and that create puts to your S3 bucket. The more distributed your audience is from your centralized S3 bucket, the more performance gains you're likely to see when your users are uploading those objects to your bucket. Another great use is for customers that have global distributed offices and IT infrastructure that require them to create or work on files, content, or lab imagery locally, and then have an S3 integrated application push that data to a centralized S3 bucket. It's incredibly easy to set up your S3 bucket to use S3 Transfer Acceleration. So let's take a look. Just open up the S3 console, scroll to your bucket of choice, click on the Properties tab, then find the Transfer Acceleration tab. From there, all you have to do is hit Enabled and Save, and in a moment, you'll have a new S3 endpoint, complete with S3-Accelerate as part of the endpoint domain name, which should always come right after your bucket name in the URL. Now just point your put objects request to this endpoint and all the objects can leverage our S3 transfer acceleration running over our global backbone. Pretty simple, right? Thanks for listening and keep building.